We got road course racing coming up this weekend, and that's like one of my favorite things about the sport. Hey, what's up, guys? It's Sam Rare. How are you guys doing? Because I'm having a fantastic day today. We're going to talk about the upcoming race of Watkins Glen International. We just came off of Pocono. That was a good race. And now we've got another big track coming up. Watkins Glen International, one of my favorite tracks. I've been there before. 2014. That was a good race. That was a great race. We got some news to talk about. First in the news, we have we have Eric Almarola and Matt DiMenedetto. They have a lot of beef going on right now. Uh, they had beef after the race at Pocono. Apparently, Almarola Or, no, DiMenedetto was mad that... Uh, they got into each other. I think I think it was DeBenedetto got into Almarola, but then DeBenedetto was still mad about it. I don't get that. And then Almarola said that he was baffled by DeBenedetto. I, I didn't read the article. I'm just reading the headlines and expecting to know what I'm talking about. Yay, I'm a great news source. In other news, there are some penalties that was given out after Pocono. Kevin Harvick and Casey Kane, they have they had penalties following post-race inspection. They've been dropped 10 driver points and 10 owner points after the Pocono race. So now Kevin Harvick... Really has to get something going if he wants to beat Kyle Busch for the regular season championship. Because, I mean, Kyle Busch is pretty much going to get it anyway because of Harvick's encumbered win at Vegas. But now this is even a bigger help to Kyle Busch. So Harvick really has to do something if he wants to get if he wants to get up to Kyle Busch. All right, now let's get into the winners. A prediction for who's going to win this weekend at Watkins Glen. Number three is Kyle Busch. I think he obviously is a safe pick. He's won here twice. He won. He's won four road courses in his career. So. I think Kyle Busch has a really good shot to win. He hasn't done, done the best here in the last few years, but 2013 he won. 2014 was not a good race for him. He had a fuel can issue, and then he like ended up finishing 41st or something else. I don't, I, I can't quite remember, but I know he had a fuel can issue. Here's a video of that. <laughs> Was my video. See, I don't usually show videos on this channel, but I can because it's my video. Joey Logano, I think Joey Logano is a good shot. He won 2015. Now, you guys might be thinking that was fuel mileage. It was, but he won the Xfinity race there too that year. Joey Logano, I think, is a great shot to win this weekend. And obviously, I haven't been having to edit this that much in the notes in the last few weeks. I could probably just pull the clip from last week uh, where I said it, but Martin Truex Jr. is going to win. Uh, Watkins Glen this weekend. I can guarantee I don't want him to, but I think he will. Uh, Martin Truex Jr., he won last year. He won the Sonoma race. He's won another Sonoma race. I think Truex has a really good shot at winning. I think I think he's going to do it. Okay, now we're going to talk about some of the underdogs, the guys that don't usually have a good shot, but since it's this weekend and the, the racetrack that it is, they probably will have a really good shot at winning. So obviously we're going to go with A.J. Allmendinger uh, as one of the guys. Uh, A.J. Allmendinger, I think, is a great shot. I mean, he won here in 2014. In the most of the recent road course races, at Sonoma at least, he's done, like he'll get the pole, he'll lead some laps, and then an issue will happen, it's just the too much pressure, but Watkins Glen seems to be a better track for him than, than Sonoma is, so I think Watkins Glen, he'll get a win, I think he has a really good shot at it, so look out for AJ Allmendinger this weekend. Another underdog is William Byron, I think William Byron has a really good shot, he finished 10th at this racetrack in the Xfinity Series, and at Road America he finished 6th when he was racing in the Xfinity Series, so I think he has a good shot for a top 10, I don't think he'll get the win, but I think he'll have a good shot for the top 10. And Daniel Suarez, obviously this is a pretty good shot, really good pick, he got 2nd at this racetrack last year, you know, if that, there was 3 more laps in that race, 2 more laps in that race, he would have gotten that win. Instead, it had to be Satanic Truex. Okay, this is a news. This is a news show. I can't be. I can't be. I can't be biased here. Suarez came close to winning though, and then he came close to winning last week at Pocono Raceway after he got the pole. I think Daniel Suarez has a really good shot to get a top five. I think he'll get the top five. All right, now let's talk about some of the oopsies, the guys that won't do that good this weekend. Obviously, we got to start off with Jimmy Johnson. Jimmy Johnson. I don't think he'll have a really good shot. Uh, the Hell Hendrick Chevrolet as a whole has really done pretty bad this season. So they only they still we're we're over halfway through the season. We're over 20 races in the season, and the only win is the Daytona 500 for Chevy. That's the only win that they have is the Daytona 500. So Chevy's had a tough season. Hendrick's had a tough season. Johnson's had a tough season. I think I think Johnson will really not do that well. 
at Watkins Glen. Eric Jones is another driver. I don't think he'll have a really good shot. He's not too good at the road courses. Granted, he did finish in the top 10 at Sonoma, but the road, cor road courses don't really seem to suit Eric Jones' style, so I don't think Eric Jones will really do that well. Um, I don't think he'll get a top 10 finish. I'll be surprised if he does, but I don't think he will. Alex Bowman. Uh, I think Alex Bowman won't really have that good of a shot. He he's never really been good at road courses. Um, so Alex Bowman, I don't think I'll have a really good shot at winning or, I mean, obviously not winning, but not doing too well at this race. I, I don't think he'll get a top 10. Uh, I, I, I predict he'll either blow up, um, or he'll, he'll wreck or something. So yeah, those are my predictions for those guys. Hey guys, if you guys like this video, please leave a like on it. If you didn't like this video, please leave a dislike and a hate comment telling me exactly what I did wrong. Tell me who your prediction is to win this weekend. Uh, be sure to subscribe to notifications and as always... Goodbye, bunny rabbits.